Alright, today I will show you how to install a damn small Linux. So we call it a just small Linux. So it is not a difficult way to install a small Linux. So we can download it, especially if we have an old artist So uh, we go to Google and we type uh, damn small Linux. Then we press enter. So here uh, Google uh, this uh, the, where we can download uh, small Linux. Eh? So we go to the description about uh, them small Linux. So we have small Linux here. So it say that uh, latest uh, distribution was on uh, September 26, 2012. Eh? It was eight years old. Then we look at the system requirement. So when we see at the system requirement, it say that this. Uh, solution can run uh, on any Intel PC that uh, are very old or when we look at the CPU size, CPU requirement uh, so it was 486 uh, before Intel Pentium uh. then it also can run on a PC with 8 megabyte of RAM so why I choose this Linux is for you for example if you want to run to test the Linux for the first time you want to play around with Linux but you not having a very powerful uh, computer or PC so you can try this version of Linux uh, then you can set up the virtual box with a basic requirement uh, you can set up either with uh, 64 can, uh, megabyte of RAM or you can set up 128 megabyte of RAM or 256 megabyte of RAM then for the hard disk size uh, it depends if you want, would like to install it on your uh, hard disk so you can specify uh, in the virtual box the hard disk size at least one gigabyte eh? so today uh, what I would, uh, would like to show you how to uh, boot up the uh, this version of Linux and then we install the temps more Linux on our virtual box and with the minimum requirement eh? so with this I hope that uh, you can explore the Linux eh? so let's try uh, to download uh, the uh, this version of Linux. So first of all, we need to go to the website. So we click to take small Linux. So here we have the description about the Linux. Say that you can uh, run on a live CD, yeah? or you have a USB pen drive. So you can uh, install it also on the pen drive, and you can put up on any PC. Yeah? So the best thing about Linux, you can put up. Yeah, so here also uh, give you the basic requirement so at least for AC with 60 megabyte of RAM so it's recommended that uh, we run it on 128 megabyte of RAM so there are also a lot of applications uh, available although the size of this Linux is just small 50 megabyte on the CD so basically you can set up your own SSH uh, FTP or uh, web server with uh, this basic Linux distribution you also can play any mp3 CD music or mp file so you have FTP client you have web browser you have a PDF browser so uh, you also have if you uh, live in the area that you need to go to internet by using uh, telephone lines you or using DSL or you are uh, not having a router so you can also use PPP PPP or PPOE so it's supported here so with this I think it's okay so it also has a USB support so what version we would like to try so we go for the current release so the current release here available is mentioned uh, 4.11 RC2 so we click here 4.11 RC2 so here is like a mailing list it is a old mailing list in our old day so when we are looking for information so the first uh, mailing list here uh, uh, was opened by John, uh, the administrator of the Stamps uh, Modinat. So here you have the uh, the web browser, uh, so the link of the web browser where you can download it. Just copy this and go to uh, the new uh, tab, and then you just open the uh, the link. Uh. So here you are able to have uh, two versions. Uh. One is new uh, list. Release in August and another one is in September 26. Eh? 
So just grab the latest one which is DSL 4.11 RC2 ISO So you click it and sorry So I just click on the MD5 So you click on ISO and it will download it So you just uh, 50 megabyte of size It depends to uh, on the speed of your internet Just a couple of minutes only on your hard disk So I can uh, close this web browser and we go to our virtual box now I have my virtual box so I would like to uh, create a new virtual box here so here I give the name uh, small Linux so maybe we give a small Linux that we are in the year 21 so just give small 21 or you want to give um, a more meaningful name you can uh, just put the, the months huh? so uh, July so just put July here and 21 huh? so at least when we back at our VDI file, we know that we install uh, July 21. So the memory requirement here for the type, you choose Linux first and then for the version, so you just use other Linux little to bit version. Eh? It was an old Linux, eh? so you just choose uh, Linux other little to bit version. So here the default memory size is 256. Eh? It can run on with 1 to 8 megabyte, eh? so just megabyte is not key. Eh? So PC or the notebook with uh, one gig RAM, or you own a notebook with five uh, five one two megabyte, so you just uh, minimize the RAM here. Eh? So you can minimize the RAM uh, to one to eight. So let's say we put it to one to eight megabyte of RAM. Eh? Then let's say that uh, we need to uh, just we go uh, with the guide mode. So we just click create. So the ID size here this why uh, was uh, uh, is, is is eight. Gig, eh? so we can just reduce it so for the testing I would like to use only one gigabyte eh? so the requirement or uh, not requirement uh, the best practice they say that you want to set up this on hard disk you can uh, uh, use you can put it to gigabyte eh? it depends if you have uh, more hard disk space uh, I think make maximum if you put to gigabyte is enough because this is a very small enough distribution eh? then uh, just create create then that's it. Uh, now before you boot uh, the boot up, the very important thing I want to highlight you go to the setting because we are using a modern computer. So for the advanced so far we have no problem and uh, description we have no problem. Go to the system so we don't need to boot up the floppy. Yeah. So the the RAM is okay but for the mouse uh, so we need to remember that this probably uh, PC 486 486 maybe the year before uh, 1992 uh, so something somewhere around there so we just put PS2 mouse uh, so at least you will be able to detect your mouse uh, and then go to the storage then we already have uh, the name of our VDI file so uh, so we look for the floppy disk uh, sorry the CD-ROM so we only download the image uh, so you just go at the image button here click and choose or create and then uh, from here uh, you can uh, input your uh, uh, your your CD that you already downloaded eh? so how uh, to input uh, here so you have uh, here DSL if you don't have here so you can say add eh? so I can uh, leave it empty so you try one more time so I show it to you so add here so you can choose the CD that you re-downloaded here so which I already downloaded for a second time so let's try with the second one so we just click open and then we choose and click choose so here we already attach the damn small Linux image to our CD-ROM and then we just click OK so now we are ready to put up so uh, as a recap what I will show you how to install uh, this uh, small Linux distribution on the hard disk eh? So it just require one gigabit of uh, hard disk file. Then uh, memory we just set to one to eight. So we just hit enter, start. So now uh, the, the 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 Linux distribution is already boot up. So on the uh, command prompt. So what I want you to do, uh, you just type install. So this is the faster way for you to install. There are many way to install uh, this small Linux or this small Linux distribution. But the easier way, just type install and hit enter. So it will boot up the uh, this damn small Linux, this small Linux. So once it boot up this small Linux, it will try to detect your USB drive and your mouse and your hardware drive. Huh? 
so let it put up so it will not take a long time so it was uh, it's very nice uh, to see this menu again so for those who are old days you know what to do uh. so the first thing uh, you need to do uh, you need to create the partition so you type 10 and then press enter so uh, the FTS ask you uh, so uh, what's the hard disk hard disk drive you want to use uh. so this one HDA uh, so you press enter and then do you wish to start with a zero uh, table so you just say yes and then they are the the the, the F, uh, F this detect uh, no partition here so what you have to do uh, you uh, use your keyboard mark keyboard press tab and go to the new and then you press enter and then uh, you press primary here uh, what you need to do you need to create two partition uh, you please uh, please remember you need to create two partition Number one is partition uh, for Linux file system. Number two, partition for Swam. Uh. So for all this, uh, Linux normally they will have will require you at least to have two partition. Uh. So for the main Linux distribution, uh, for the Linux file system, we just say uh, 900 megabyte. Oh sorry, uh. so we have uh, 1073 megabyte. Uh. So we can uh, use up to 900 megabyte. So we say beginning of the partition. So we say beginning, and then it's already created, bootable. So we click enter. So this the flag now enter to the flag now change to boot. Eh? So for the second one uh, to create the swap, you have to use your tab and then uh, go to the uh, sorry, eh? you uh, go to the your keyboard. Uh, you uh, press the page down button eh? so now you can create a, a new partition here so you uh, you enter new so then create primary so you just enter primary so this is the remaining megabyte you have eh? so just use all then but here uh, this is not uh, we supposed to have uh, we supposed to change to swipe partition eh? so what you have to do uh, you go to the types and then you press enter and then you key in uh, 82 uh. 82 was uh, sorry 82 was the uh, code for the swap partition uh. so now uh, change it to the swap partition so once you have done this you go to the right and then you press enter and yes is whether you want to write just say yes then it's write the partition to the table uh. so we wait for a while so once it's done then you can uh, go and quit so when you press uh, enter, when you have done, go back to the menu. So what uh, the second thing I want you to do is to, to choose number two. Eh? So number two, we will install this to the hard drive. So we give the command two, eh? so and we enter. So it say that the target partition is HDA2. This one you have to change because remember HDA2 is the swap partition. So we just say HDA1. Eh? So because HDA1 is our Linux file system. So we say that do you want uh, to support multi users? Yeah, we say yes and we press enter. So do you want to use uh, assist, extension tree file system Linux? So we say yes and uh, press enter. Do you want to continue? Yes. So we just enter and it's create the file system on the HDA1. Uh. So now it's copy the file system uh, to HDA1. So we say that do you want to load a bootloader? Yes, uh, because we need the bootloader to load our OS. Uh. So we press yes. So there are two type of bootloader. All days, uh, those did not use below. Uh. So now we use grab, grab. Uh. So we group. Uh. So we just press G and enter. So it was to reboot now. So the installation actually uh, basically is done uh, very fast. So we just say yes. So now it send the signal to reboot uh, the computer. Uh. So once it boot up, so we will uh, go to the main, uh, to the. Windows damn small Linux screen eh? so wait for a while so it's already ready so what you have to do now you just uh, turn off the computer the virtual machine so power off so make sure go to the setting so what I want you to ensure is to ensure that your CD-ROM is not uh, on the CD so it's empty eh? so make sure and check your system so your boot up should be from your hard drive huh? so then you click ok so now you are ready to power up your small Linux distribution huh? so this is the group uh, so loader so it's already detect uh, so you can choose huh, which uh, uh, screen size that you want to boot up 
So either you want to boot up to 120 times to 1024 or you want to boot up with the screen size 1024 times 260. So it will automatically detect your uh, your screen. Eh? So now we uh, boot up our Linux. So let's just boot up. So I can uh, actually minimize my picture box in the back. So it's already boot up. Eh? So one boot up, it asks you to create the password. So you can give any, uh, I mean any, so capture the my mouse pointer. So you can just give it any, uh, sorry, you can give it any, uh, any number for for here so uh, any 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 password that you want uh, to choose so i just give uh, uh, it's a uh, very short uh, password nah. so it's detect it's a very bad password it's okay so you just type any password and you must remember the password nah. so then done so what you have to do you have to load in as dsl then you type the password just now you type so when you type, so it will log in to the damn small Linux. Eh? So it automatically detach your networks. So you, you uh, set up the the virtual box, and then the option you choose is net. Eh? So you already have the networking here. Then you see that the CPU is very low. Eh? So now it's only uh, almost zero percent. Eh? So process we have twenty four. So RAM use only. 17 megabyte uh, out of 124 megabyte that we assign so it's very low uh, 30 percent only so the hard disk size uh, is also uh, very low uh, is, so we, we still have about 800 megabyte free uh. so the uptime uh, is very fast so the uptime is very fast so now let's try to use it. you have a uh, help here uh, for you to uh, uh, go in around the them small enough or this small enough so what i want you to do first you open the terminal so this is uh, basically the the the, the basic command uh, most of us will do when we already boot up the linux uh. so i will show you some of the basic command uh, once you already put up uh, to the linux uh. so the first command that normally uh, people uh, will use uh, so uh, people will type, for example, uh, let's say ls. Huh? So this is to list the directory. Huh? So now we have only this directory. So the second thing that people may do that people can change directory. Huh? If you say cd uh, dot dot, so you will change to the directory uh, back. Huh? So cd dot dot, you go in back cd cd uh, dsl, so you go into this directory. Huh? So you can type df to check your file system. So we can cd to root. So when you say cd slash, you uh, cd to root partition. Eh? So here you can see uh, all the uh, directory eh, in your computer. So the next uh, command that normally uh, people always use. Eh? So is uh, su. Eh? Su means you are now not as a root. Eh? You remember, you are as a DSL user. Eh? So you are not not as a root, eh? so you are as a DSL user. So what you need to do now, so you maybe say su, and then it will ask you the password. Then now you are as a root, eh? so the user or the chain to the root. So this is the basic command that you use. So when you press as, uh, ls, so this is the uh, part in the partition table that you have. Eh? So you may go to cd etc. Eh? So cd etc. This is all the configuration file available in your system. So next command, you may want to look what's the uh, parameter for the file in your file system. Eh? So you may type uh, password, for example, if, if they are password files. So you just type ls minus l. Eh? So here say that the password file only can be read and accessed by root. Eh? So you no, know, root can read, right? Eh? The others can read. Eh? Uh, so the other group also can read. Eh? You already quit. You can uh, check your web browser. Eh? So this is uh, the thing that you need to ensure that you already go to the. You already uh, you have internet access. Eh? So here it's already open to a website and small enough. So you already on internet. So you don't need to worry about that. You can test by if you have uh, some money, PayPal account, please donate to. Uh, to this website also. Eh? So you can open Google, see whether you can access uh, Google for example. 
So here you detect the certificates and then yeah, you can access the Google lah. So this is the small linux distribution lah. For testing, uh, you can just use this. The other command that uh, I would like to show you is the network command. Lah. So maybe you type sudo if config lah. So this is to, uh, to detect your IP address and what is the IP address you are using. So you are using 10.0.2.15 so you can just say test whether you are having access to internet so ping minus one so it says deny so that means uh, you are not root so you can type sudo uh. sudo ping 1.1.1.1 then there you go uh. you already access to internet so the other thing uh, maybe you want to type 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 router uh, minus p uh. print uh. so uh, so whether you type router uh, sorry uh. so uh, prop then you have the the information about your internet gateway eh? so here yeah. so this is the for you to know that whether you have access to internet so the other thing after you already uh, log on to this then uh, small linux you may go to the uh, configuration menu here so here you can uh, change anything eh? whether you want to change the background or whether you want uh, to check your network card configuration or whether you want to change the uh, the date of time eh? so it depends on you, you can check your system so you will display you uh, the type of your CPU the uh, memory uses here so you uh, how much memory we are uses so your network module, network card here so already up our network here so we have some uh, modules loaded to the Linux kernel so what is the process so and then our deal message uh, this is the message that when the system is put up so this is a uh, very important also then you can look at the mount so any file system we already mounted so only mounted sda1 uh, station 3 file system so you have this then you have the file system here so you have available this size 400 uh, 649.9 megabyte nah? and then another important here yeah, uh, you can also set up this SSH server you can enable this so once you enable this SSH server you can uh, use SSH client to connect to the server to port uh, 22 uh. you can check also what is the uh, port open uh, uh, the name small enough so we, if we have next tag yes uh, then probably maybe you need to, to use root uh, and use tags minus a and then you so here you can see that the port that open so you have port 22 uh, which is SSH uh. you have a port other port also so this is normally your uh, terminal port uh. alright so if you want to shut down uh, this uh, damn small Linux so here you don't have any button like you want to for you to shut down so the other uh, command uh, for me that I think that uh, important for you uh, to learn at this point maybe the command is like pwd is uh, your directory if you say mkdir is for you to make a directory so then if you want to remove directory dir then you can say sat to so remove directory then uh, you can also uh, uh, this command is to shut down the very important command for you to so you type sudo uh, shut down shut down and shut down so you have page, you help the operating system R you reboot eh? so this is uh, the basic command that you can learn also another command that maybe if you say password so you just type password then this one uh, for you to change the password so you need to have root privilege eh? so you type sudo password eh? so now sudo password you put the, uh, the user that you want to change the password so here yeah, I will change the password for DSL so let me change the password to the other password so still the big password so now I'll change uh, the password for DSL if you want to change for the root also you can uh, change password for the root uh. so type sudo root and now you change the password for the root also so you can change the password for the for the root uh. so make sure it's a uh, remember the password that you change another important command here that maybe I would like to show you is maybe we create we have a statistic here so if you want to look here and if I have more then this is uh, the way for you to read it eh? then uh, you may type remove eh? remove as the statistic eh? so this will remove the statistic file eh? so you don't have that in your in your file eh? 
so i think uh, that's all for today thank you uh, please subscribe